Hello and welcome. If you are into aviation, then you will know the name Northrop Grumman. It is an aerospace and defence technology company, a giant whose diverse research and manufacturing covers 3D fibre printing, adaptive optics, composite structures, radar systems and more. Northrop Grumman also is a manufacturer of the Global Hawk, B-2 Stealth Bomber, and the MQ-8 Fire Scout. And they and their industry partners have won the Collier Trophy eight times. Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation was founded in 1929 and was active in World War II producing Navy fighter aircraft such as the F-4 Wildcat, F-6F Hellcat, F-7F Tiger Cat, and also the TBF Avenger. Grumman designed and built 44 types, including the Gulf Stream turboprops and jets. In 1994, Northrop bought Grumman, beating an offer from Martin Marietta Corporation. Who or what was Northrop? John Knudsen, Jack Northrop, was born in 1895. His career began in 1916 as a draftsman for the Lockheed Aircraft Manufacturing Company which was founded in 1912 by Alan Lockheed. That was a few years after the Wright Brothers' world's first controlled power flights of 1903. Northrop joined the Douglas Aircraft Company in 1923, where he became a project engineer on the Douglas Round the World Cruiser. In 1927, he joined Lockheed, where he was the chief engineer on the Vega Transport a civilian transport monoplane with a cantilever wing that produced unusually high performance. Top pilots Wiley Post, Amelia Earhart and Hubert Wilkins flew the Vega. In 1929, Northrop struck out on his own, founding the Avion Corporation, which he sold the following year to United Aircraft and Transport Corporation. In 1932, Northrop Backed by Donald Douglas of Douglas Aircraft, founded another company, the Northrop Corporation. This company built two highly successful monoplanes, the Northrop Gamma and the Northrop Delta. By 1939, the Northrop Corporation had become a subsidiary of Douglas Aircraft, so Northrop founded another completely independent company of the same name. His first project, a reduced scale version of a flying wing, ultimately became the giant Northrop YB-35. The Northrop XP-56 Black Bullet, a welded magnesium fighter, was one of the more significant of his World War II designs, along with the Northrop P-61 Black Widow, the first American night interceptor, of which more than 700 were constructed. His inventions continued into the post-war era of jet aircraft, in producing the Northrop F-89 Scorpion all-weather interceptor, the Northrop YB-49 long-range bomber, the Northrop Snark intercontinental missile, and automatic celestial navigation systems. He produced a number of flying wings, including the Northrop N-1M, Northrop N-9M, and Northrop YB-35. His ideas about flying wing technology were years ahead of the computer and electronic advances of fly-by-wire stability systems. Those allowed inherently unstable aircraft like the B-2 Spirit flying wing to be flown like a conventional aircraft. The flying wing and the pursuit of low drag, high lift designs were Northrop's passion and its failure to be selected as the next generation bomber platform after World War II and the subsequent dismantling of all prototypes and incomplete YB-49s was a severe blow to him. He retired at age 57 in 1952 and virtually ended his association with the company for the next 30 years. In 1976, with his health failing, Northrop tried to convince NASA of his belief in the low drag high lift concept inherent in the flying wing. NASA replied that the idea had technological merit, encouraging Northrop that his flying wing concepts had not been completely abandoned. He broke a decades-long silence on the flying wing's demise 
in a 1979 television interview accusing the Air Force of killing the project to punish him for refusing to merge his company with Consolidated Vol-T. Here is some of that interview with rare footage of the flying wing. said, Mr. Secretary, what are the alternatives to this demand you are making of our merger with Consolidated Voltee? He said, alternatives? You'll be goddamn sorry if you don't. You did not accept Mr. Odlum's offer, I take it? No, we did not accept Mr. Odlum's offer. And we didn't feel that we could in fairness do so. So what happened? So, in fact, the contract was taken away from you and given to Consolidated because you had refused to merge with Consolidated as you were ordered to do by the government. Is that accurate? That is absolutely accurate. Aviation expert Bud Baker said killing off the flying wing project was a sound decision based on a budgetary, technical and strategic reality. Shortly before Northrop's death, he was given a SCAR model of the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit stealth bomber to hold. The B-2 shared design features of his YB-35 and YB-49, including the same 172-foot wingspan as the YB-49. B-2 project designer John Cashin said, as he held this model in his shaking hands, it was as if you could see his entire history with a flying wing passing through his mind. He was awarded the Spirit of St. Louis Medal from the American Society of Mechanical Engineers for meritorious service in the advancement of aeronautics and many other aviation awards. He was posthumously inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2003. Northrop's passion for tailless flight was honoured by the naming of a giant tailless pterosaur. And I can't pronounce that, so I'm going to put it in the print. Thank you for watching.